Yes, uh, when we are working with a spreadsheet data loader, if we want to load the data to spreadsheet data loader, then what we have to do, generally we'll go for install the software called uh, ADF desktop integrator that we have to download from the tools menu, download ADF desktop integrator. This is the option we will use, okay? So if we click on this, then the software will be downloaded into our local machine. And we can go for install this software, ADF, DA, ADF desktop integrator administration. This is the desktop connectivity. We have to enter the credentials. It just takes a couple of minutes time for uh, uh, installation. After that, we can start using the spreadsheet data load. For example, we are going to use the journals data. The journals data we want to load. So what we will do? We will go to general accounting, journals tab. When we go for journals tab here, we can see that uh, the journals can be created manually or it can be posted uh, from other uh, systems, nothing but tables or receivables or some other. Then we can find here create journal in spreadsheet. Click on this. We can see that it's been started downloading option. We got a spreadsheet here. Let's open the spreadsheet. We open the spreadsheet. I can see that uh, here uh, there is a separate uh, ledger we have. This is the ledger name. We need to enter the credentials. What system is trying to do is uh, through this spreadsheet, system is connecting to the Fusion applications here. You are about to connect the following application URL internally, and this is the URL. Do you want to connect? Yes. If you want to connect, enter your credentials. Whatever the credentials uh, you have used for your Fusion applications, same credentials we have to use here also. Okay. We don't need to go for install this particular latest version and all. Keep, keep this option here. Now our uh, spreadsheet is ready. The moment uh, when we connect to the applications here, I can find that tab, create journal. The tab will tell us uh, that the spreadsheet data loader is connected with your application. And in case if you totally want to log out or log in with the different data and different credentials, we can use that here, clearing the data and submission. I didn't know what happened. Uh, uh, I got data access set here, Supremo Energy Primary Ledger set. That's the ledger we got. Actually, we wanted to work with uh, uh, US Primary Ledger, but uh, this we got. I cannot change the value here. This cannot be changed here. Okay. So why we got this uh, Supremo Energy Primary Ledger? Because at the time of... Uh, downloading the spreadsheet from the application uh, your selection was this that's the reason you got uh, that's the reason you got it here uh, that's why what we have to do is whatever the ledger we wanted to go for upload choose that ledger here let's say we want to work with this primary ledger And go to task list here. Create journal in a spreadsheet. Now this will be downloaded here. Now I can see my lecture here, US primary. So when we are trying to 
download the spreadsheet, make sure that you are in a proper data access set, then that corresponding uh, ledger will be populated. Remaining is common. Let's say I'm trying to load the data. Journal name, this is first journal, first journal description. I'm going to enter oh, which ledger you are working. US primary, see whatever the data access set you have, corresponding ledgers. Data access set means indirectly either one ledger or multiple ledgers. So system is showing that these are the ledgers are available here. Let me choose this ledger name and accounting date. I'm going to enter 2024. Adjustment period, uh, I would like to go with uh, any adjustment period is required that we can enter here. And category, you can use double click to get list of categories here. I'm going ahead with uh, creels. And source is spreadsheet. It's not manual or from payables or receivables. And then creel here. Okay. Uh, if at all you are going to reverse this journals, we will use reversal period, reversal date, and other information. Now I can see that the company here, company line of business account, and other information here. I double click on this. Combination we have entered and currency US dollar. Debit amount. I'm going to enter 19. $99. We don't need other details because all fields are optional, not mandatory. Let me go for the second line here. That's a credit, and we are going to enter the debit line here. This error we are getting here, but generally, when we are working in the real time, we don't get because that's going to have the latest version of uh, ADF desktop integration as well as the Excel. Right now, it is not a licensed one. So that's the reason we are getting. So let's go for enter the credit. So we enter debit line as well as credit line. So what were the information we are entering in the front end while creating the journal? The same details we are going to enter in the spreadsheet and we are going to load it. So we used to enter account combination, debit and credit, right? same details we are going to enter. Here. Right. This is for single journal. In case if you are going to load uh, multiple journals, we'll do it from here. Multiple journals will be loaded uh, from here. Let's go for single journal here. And now uh, let me save this first. And go to the tab here, create journal and submit. And here we have multiple options while running this program. Oh, do you want to save to interface table these journals and import later? Or do you want to go for direct submit a journal import? Or do you want to submit journal import and posting? So it depends on the requirement, you can go for select this. And you want to go for any descriptive flux fields are there. If there are any additional fields, you want to go for add the descriptive flux fields. You can go with the import descriptive flux fields here. No, yes, with validations here. And then we can go for uh, select. Uh, you want to add, validate the DFF also, we can do that. Otherwise, we can go ahead with this uh, direct option. Let me just submit. process has been submitted successfully. Now let's go back to our application and uh, check the status of this program. Let me just go for cancel it.
go to manage journals and here uh, period we selected january right january we have given while entering the data we specified the accounting date is on um, 1st january 2024 so it comes under january period and the source is spreadsheet we have uploaded the data through spreadsheet select sources spreadsheet and search for the journals this is our journal we uploaded only one journal right first journal of real but system has created uh, automatically one more journal because uh, for this primary ledger there is a secondary ledger is in euro currency in euro currency we have a secondary ledger so that's the reason we got it here okay let me see this journal and i can see the status of the journal it's been posted successfully and source is spreadsheet approval doesn't require and does not have any subject so fund status is not required and this is the journal okay. so this is how we will be able to uh, upload the journals uh, in the applications here uh, through the spreadsheet so when we face that issue data access set issue so we have to choose the spawning uh, data access set and uh, download the template so that we'll get exact data access set and then we can go for upload okay thank you